Okay, 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 okay. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I fucking love it, fucking love it, fucking love it. It's not even good morning, it's about exactly one o'clock. One o'clock. One o'clock, yeah, it's one o'clock, Morphos. Anyway, I miss this view. I miss this view. The trip was fantastic, phenomenal, fucking tiring, but I can't complain. Now, the good part about it is that we made it back safe. I posted up a video of the trip back, which is actually just riding. I didn't put anything else. I talked a lot of shit, but I was too tired to. I just want to kind of have just a feeling when I look back at it of the amount of fucking driving we've done. It's about a one hour long of, uh, of uh, fast forward driving. Put some music on, but that's only, again, that's only for me when I look back to actually understand how much the driving back was. We had to stop at the hotel though, to crash for three hours, because it's a lot of fucking driving, man. And only some driving, I think is not, it's not that kind of, you know, it's a lot. It's not fucking fair, man, you know, it gets tiring. I mean, only that much of human can drive. And she was, she slept probably like six hours. No, with all the hotel, probably maximum 10 hours in the last, 10 hours sleep in the last fucking four days. I slept more because I took a 20 minutes nap. But it's good to be back. I haven't packed yet. I'm gonna go and check the boat to see if it didn't sink. And um, literally just got in the house and just put my shorts on. I fucking miss this weather, man. Looking back in New York, the weather was amazing, but I just start reading now how bad Chicago and all this it is, how fucking freezing it is. And um, I really enjoy being here, man. Nice and warm. It's really nice and warm. Warm outside is not sunny, but look at me. I'm pretty much half naked, which I love it. And I'm gonna go and check the box. And usually my daily vlog is gonna happen every everything I do. All said, I talked to Sam. She's gonna give me a hand on it. She's gonna be part of it. As uh, she'll start doing a retrospective of the whole week. I think she's I'm gonna have to teach her to edit. Not that I know much, but. I'm gonna have the daily vlog. My daily vlog is a lot of uncut, unedited, unfucking filtered shit. And she will make sure that we'll, out of all this, is gonna be something golden. All set. It's good to be back, man. I wanted to hit the pool today and the jacuzzi, but I might, I don't know, first of all, because I need to go on the boat. I wanna go fishing for a little bit, man. Just fucking a little bit, man. And all set, I bought this. Um, I bought this, I bought this from, check this, I bought this from, when I stopped on the way to New York, I bought these lures, I don't even know if it's the right kind of fish they have here, but I bought those bad boys, and all set, I bought this for $10, and I just want to put them on the water, see if it's any fish is going to say hello to my little trip, good, done, I'll be back. I'm gonna keep this posted, don't worry, because the way you look, I look at it, man. Oh, wait to see when I'm gonna unpack, I'm gonna make, I, on this, so today video is gonna be unpacking, it's gonna be fucking nuts. I have so much shit and then I repeat, I don't know if you've watched the previous video, I lost fucking $600, man, I misplaced them somewhere, I hopefully I didn't throw them. I mean, I go through the, I went through the garbage, every garbage about five, six, ten times to make sure. I hope I went, I left the house only once to buy some tape and I hope, I didn't lost them. If I had them in my pocket, it's a big dilemma. I hope I don't have Alzheimer, one of those things when you don't remember nothing, but my memory shortage was only part of a few seconds, the, exactly the time when I misplaced the money, which is pretty fucking weird. And I didn't even smoke weed, man. It was pretty fucking weird I didn't even smoke weed, man. That sounded me. Me, moi, myself, and I are gonna get my shit together pack some stuff to go on the boat and I keep you in touch. I don't know if that sounds correctly, politically, politically correct, but bing, bing, we back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's check the changes here. Where is my fucking boat and how it looks and if it's still alive and if it's still alive and if it's still alive and if it's still alive. I see changes, I see two boats being... Yo, that boat fucking move, man. Or my boat moves, or they move. 
Cool. Look at the fucking space I have on my boat. That's the space I have on my boat. Let me see my boat is not. Shit, that amount of fucking water is in there, bro. Oh, my boat is alive. Well, there's plenty of water going on. It's all good. I don't care. It's alive and this here and this fucking ripped more apart. Okay, it's all good. At least it's fucking here, man. Let me see. Fuck, that boat is fucked. Oh, well. Look at the space I have on my boat. Well, the way I look at it is simple like that. I'm gonna get some fucking food, come back and fix the fucking problem, get the water out, gonna get some alcohol, get some beers and tacos, bring the water out and uh, go to the boat, fish a little bit, go back and I have to unpack. I fix the problem when I'm packing, apparently it's super fucking easy, the freight elevator is right close there, I just park the, park the car with the back, bang, 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 10 hours job, no, it's about one hour. And then I'm gonna be fucking unpacking. So you see, when I unpack, I'm gonna put a lot of shit. So you guys stay tuned. You're gonna see how much shit and how much cool shit I have in my unpacking situation. My golden treasure of art and lots of bullshit. Oh well. I need to get rid of all this water. And it's a lot man, it doesn't look much, but this fucking small boat is big. And I need to get to my boat man. <sighs> Enjoy my adventure. What's gonna happen? Hard work bro, hard work. I'm gonna get... I smoke all this, but I'm gonna push them out working hard. I need to fucking quit though. I tried to quit, but that road fucking put me back into the mood of... Uh, Self-destruction. No, self Enjoy. That's how much water we have here.
Fucking garbage.
Whew. Here we are. All the shows. 16 minutes, man. 16 minutes. So the boat has a hole. Big fucking hole, man. Big fucking hole. Right there. Right fucking there. You see it? You see it? The boat has a hole. I'm gonna fix it. Hold on. Let me clean. Let me clean this lens. I even took the
that's how you fix the boot hole no boot hole boot hole in a short time that's just provisory it's not gonna fucking last for shit but it's good well when i say i'm a ninja i just don't say it i mean it when i mean it it's fake but i fixed the fucking thing look here not one drop of water is coming but that's provisory i know that i know that i know that it's provisory i need a fucking glue i need a special glue i need to actually i need to take the boat out eventually um really fucking fix it man listen i'm happy i got it since i got it actually destroy more it's my fault usually the boat uh, tony the guy got it from obviously he just goes on the outside and just with the other stuff and bring it here i leave it overnight there against the rocks and that fucking destroys it and then in the front was ripped but it's definitely ripped a lot more because the boat it's moving so it's pulling that even more but i got tools i'm gonna go on it and fix it tomorrow and i'm gonna need the glue and fix it and actually i may even paint it i'm gonna look into it yeah this this i don't want to get rid of it man i was talking to sam the other day and uh we were talking about this is actually new it's about 15 or two thousand dollars boat broken it's i don't fucking know what it is about it but if i fix it i don't want to buy another one this is big this actually helps you don't have to worry about it and everything else if i want i'm gonna buy a kayak i gonna i gonna buy a kayak i gonna use it and uh gonna use it and everything's gonna be okay so yeah and they're gonna put an engine on it this week i'm gonna fucking deal with all the stuff so here we are here we go that's the fucking truth and that's how it is I love it. I fucking love it. And I love my fucking life, man. I love my life. If I curse too much, please let me know. I'm not gonna stop, so it doesn't matter. But I just wanna I wanna know your opinion guys, because I don't care. It's not selfish, it's just the way it is. And I repeat, people that don't curse, I don't trust them. And that's a fact. That's my opinion in life, and I don't think so. I think they fake and I think they've been raised wrongly. Now, when you work morally, when I talk about cursing, listen, if you work in a bar bank, you work with people, you're around people, I'm not saying you should curse, but in your own time, or around your friends, and in your very safe environment around you, I think you should be free, and that's what I'm saying. So this me vlogging, this me talking, this me doing this and that is my safe environment, and I like to curse. I do curse a lot of my customers when I tattoo, and that's my life i'm not gonna curse when i go to the bank i say bitch please fucking this and fucking that i don't do that because that's respect it's one thing being respect and one thing being free and one thing actually being who you are so around myself only because i post the videos doesn't mean i don't curse and that's how it is so if it bothers you please let me know or keep watching the channel it's not cock, it's about, I don't give a fuck. That's what it is. And a lot of people should start doing that, man. We should live alone lives, not fucking pre-society pre bullshit. Because this is all made and designed by people that have no fucking morals, no goals, no, nothing only to make us mental slaves. That's all. And I'm against all that stuff. I'm against any religion, I'm against not against religion that's wrong i'm against fanatics in the new religions i'm against uh, political bullshit as when people quote uh, tv memes and tv this and this that's not political i travel all over the world i live in countries where i know what being political means and i know what the freedom means so all said be free man, be fucking free, be free, live your life the way you want it, how you want it. As long as you don't hurt nobody in your process, you're doing right. Don't be unhappy and don't hold your tongue on so because some fucking asshole piece of shit doesn't deserve it. Make sense? If you're around somebody, when I get rid of that motherfucker, just tell him he's a piece of shit. And don't be scared, don't be scared to actually be who you are man, be who you are. Follow your path of life. Don't fucking listen to any motherfucking monkeys out there that try to tell you how to fucking... Uh, <coughs> they try to train you, you know? It's not like that, man. It's not like that. Our life is too short, too fucking precious to just be enslaved. At least mentally, in your own environment, curse, motherfucking. Curse. Curse if it makes you feel good. Fucking shout, fucking punch the walls. Do whatever the fuck you want because you fucking own it. That's your life. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise because you know what? 
Those people are miserable fucks. And it is what it is, man. Welcome to my fucking vlog. CGTV, guess what? I fucking love it. And I love to fucking curse. Let me see what's going on here. They don't know. They are dancing, they are dancing, they are dancing, loving life. They are dancing, they are dancing, they are dancing, loving life. Yeah! That's how it is. People love life. I like that when people love life, man. Look at this ball, man. This thing is like $8, man. How fucking nice it is. I fucking love it. That's how nice it is. 